All right, so San Francisco, you know, this is probably not a place you want to go for a tourist vacation because there's so many better areas in the U.S. to go to. I mean, you got like Chicago's downtown, which is somewhat decent. Manhattan's pretty cool. I also got Las Vegas, Miami, Naples, you know, a lot of great places in the United States for vacation. You don't have to go to San Francisco, but of course, there's still some vacationers going to San Francisco and they absolutely regret it. Okay, multiple groups of tourists fell victim to a massive smash and grab car break in occurred in broad daylight within minutes at a San Francisco beach. Now, here's the thing you wouldn't really expect that for a lot of like the beach areas, right? A lot of the beach areas are usually like pretty safe. It's one of the last bastions of San Francisco where it's still pretty nice, like Fishman's Wharf, you know, downtown San Francisco, Mission Bay. You also got like some of the beach areas. Like the downtown area is where like all the crazy that happens, all the sinful things and dark things happen. I mean, downtown San Francisco and Market Street is by far one of the most dangerous areas probably in the whole entire country. But of course, right now, tourists are absolutely not having it, right? And tourism in San Francisco is already at all-time low. And here's what I gotta say, if you know, if you want a city to recover super fast, you're gonna have to cave into the tourism industry. You're gonna have to get a lot of people to come in and do vacations. But nobody wants to go to San Francisco because it's stuff like this. And this isn't like a unique story. This is a story that happens all the time. In fact, a lot of burglars actually go for tourists because tourists are the ones who have a lot of valuable belongings and suitcases in their cars. In fact, if you go to the San Francisco locals and residents, they have nothing in their cars, okay? This is why a lot of these thieves are targeting tourist cars. They're going to tourist traps just to get tourist cars. I mean, I've seen whole entire cars being stolen in San Francisco. It's an insane city. And what's worse is like they call the cops. They call 911. Nothing's really been done, right? And the cops aren't really going out of their way to find their belongings. They're not going to go out of the way to help the tourist out. Now, I'm sure they want to, but you know, the cops are so strapped right now, they don't even have enough personnel to do basic necessities. San Francisco PD is basically down about 600, 700, you know, maybe even 800 police workers. And not to mention the 911 staff and a support crew for emergencies is at an all time low. So just check this out, you know, it sucks. You know, all these cars got broken in, the suitcases are all gone, the belongings are all gone. And I'm sure they probably had a lot of very expensive things in it, like laptops, stuff like that and look at this you know it sucks to see a situation and this they're just pretty much parked next to the beach for just 10 minutes and then some car goes in swoop breaks in the glass takes everything and then just runs out and that's what happened right and these smash and grabs are super fast it just takes like 15 20 seconds for a smash and grab you'll actually be surprised about how fast these thieves are when it comes to tourists their cars and their belongings another big thing is because of low tourism, and I wonder why, you know, with all this crazy smash and grab, high homelessness, high crime, nobody wants to go to San Francisco, which is pretty much gonna make San Francisco's downtown empty storefronts really, really invaluable. Right now, a lot of people who are willing to open up shops, new entrepreneurs, new business owners, they're going for places like Austin, Las Vegas, you know, Denver, Nashville, Miami. They're not going for San Francisco. In fact, of all the cities in the U.S., San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, these cities are the cities ranked pretty much on the bottom for new store openings. Many of the mom and pop stores and even local chains and big companies are not going to San Francisco. In fact, a lot of these companies and small business owners are pulling out of San Francisco. They don't want to be here. San Francisco is already struggling to fill a lot of the luxury storefronts. Guys, seriously, go through Market Street, right? Just walk down Market Street from the Civic Center all the way to Union Square. This is supposed to be one of the most vibrant areas of San Francisco. This is supposed to be packed with tourism, packed with office workers, and just packed with residents out shopping. But you already have a good 50% of some of the biggest and most famous longtime tenants leaving this place. Whole Foods has left, right? Whole Foods is no longer existent. Westview Mall is gone. Nordstrom is gone. Nordstrom Rack is gone. You're seeing a huge entire sector just completely wiped out. I've never seen a ghost town in the city before. You know, this place just four years ago used to be the most, you know, the most vibrant place. Everyone is here. 
everyone's chilling here, everyone's having fun here, but now everyone's gone, and so are the businesses. It's actually super empty. You could go watch some of the walking 4K tours. Just go on YouTube, type in San Francisco Market Street walking 4K tour. You'll see how empty the streets are, right? You got some luxury stores leaving, and yes, I get it. Ikea is moving in, but so what? Ikea moves in while like 500 stores move out. It doesn't mean anything. And yeah, they're struggling to fill these businesses. You know, even Chinese tourists don't even want to come to San Francisco. And guess what's really crazy, right? Chinese tourists are actually one of the biggest spenders when it comes to San Francisco. Because San Francisco back in 2019, they got 500,000 Chinese tourists from the mainland that spent $1.2 billion on the city. I'm sure the city right now really needs that money right now. They absolutely need that kind of revenue. And Chinese tourists are high spenders too when they go visit cities. And guess what? Guess what some of the blogging sites are saying? A lot of the blogging sites are all saying in China that San Francisco is probably the most dirty city they've ever been to. Chinese tourists actually rank San Francisco on the bottom of the vacation list. They actually rank places like Las Vegas, Miami, and New York City fairly high. Even Los Angeles. But San Francisco is so low on the bottom that nobody's visiting it. In fact, if you go to some of the polls over the Chinese forums, everyone says San Francisco is the city to avoid when going on vacation in the U.S. And that sucks for San Francisco because this is supposed to be a place with so much, a lot of culture, right? It's the place where like the first Chinatown is. But nobody wants to visit this place. They say it's scary, it's dirty. You know, there's homeless people everywhere and there's tents everywhere. And the city just genuinely doesn't care about anyone. And they're just letting the city just run itself to the ground. It's actually crazy. You know, I feel like the city just used common sense and ran it with common sense. It wouldn't really end up like this. I absolutely love the city. And I feel like, you know, if things do change, the city will be good. The city has a lot of good people. But right now, it's just not a great place to be. Not a great place to invest, work, or go on vacation. But if they change things up, maybe in the future. I mean, look at some of this. You know, some of the biggest companies are sick and tired of San Francisco. Charles Schwab, one of the biggest employers of San Francisco, is now coming cutting back on some of the biggest office spaces in downtown San Francisco. Salesforce is also completely done. Salesforce doesn't want to be here. They're already moving several of the employees online. Airbnb, one of the most loyal guys in San Francisco. These guys started off in San Francisco, and Airbnb loves San Francisco, but guess what? It's tough love right now, right? San Francisco is not a place to really be. You even have guys like Airbnb, CEO, you know, they want to leave as well. They don't really want to be here. We also got guys like Salesforce, San Francisco's biggest, biggest employer. They're thinking about moving out through Dreamforce AI events. And you already have Meta, IBM's Red Hat, moving some of the biggest tech conferences out of San Francisco. Crazy upcoming foreclosures from some of the craziest luxury apartments. And San Francisco looks like this 24 seven. It's time in San Francisco homelessness. It's absolutely everywhere. It's dystopian to see this kind of scene. You know, this should not be what a number one tech city in the U.S. looks like. There's tents everywhere, fentanyl used everywhere. It's not a good sign at all.